Are you ready to talk about saving money? Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about rabies. <laughs> so yesterday I had to take my cat to get his yearly rabies shot. And as I do with everything, I look to see if I could save money doing this. So I found out that I could actually go to my local animal shelter and get this done. And I only paid $16 to get my cat registered with the city and get his rabies shots done. So not only was this like really convenient, but there was no appointment necessary. All I had to do was put my cat in a carrier, drive up to our local animal shelter on the days and times specified on the county's website. Now in my area, the website said that I could come Wednesday through Friday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So all I had to do was show up anytime in those days and I could get this done. And let me tell you, it was so easy and convenient. I didn't have to make an appointment. I didn't have to wait around for an hour. All I did was walk in, stand in a line that was no more than five minutes long. I handed the lady my $16 and she gave me a tag for my cat to wear all the time. Lady certificate and license. And this is your receipt and you can just have a seat and a couple minutes later somebody came out grabbed my cat's crate took him back through this door and literally less than a minute later came back out and we were done and ready to roll so they take him behind that little door right there and probably about five minutes later, he'll be all done. It's literally less than a minute later. They took him back, gave him a shot and brought him out and he is done. That was amazing. Like it was, um, I was amazed how fast it was, how easy it was and how low cost it was to get this done. Now, if I would have went to a traditional vet to get this done, I would have had to call, make an appointment, and it would have cost me anywhere from 40 to $100 to get this accomplished. So, you know, I was just really happy with what I found here. So I wanted to share it with all of you guys and let you know that you can do such a thing. So if you didn't know, it is a law that every dog, cat, and ferret be vaccinated against rabies and be licensed with your city. So thankfully we have this great law to protect us from this terrible disease. In some other countries they aren't so lucky and there are over 55,000 cases a year of rabies but most of those are in Africa and Asia where they don't have such things in place like we do. So there are only one to three reports every year in the United States of rabies and that is due to these vaccination programs just like this. So be sure you take your pets to be vaccinated against rabies. Even though we have these great things in place, there are still more than 100 dogs and 300 cats a year that get rabies. And they're usually infected by wildlife. Have you ever heard of the term hair of the dog? So this term nowadays is actually referred to as chugging whatever the drink was you've had the night before to get rid of a nasty hangover. Well, the original meaning of this phrase was actually quite different. So back in the day, it was believed that if you cut off the hair of the dog responsible for biting you and put that hair on the wound, that it would cure the rabies. Interesting, huh? So I'm sure that that was not a good way of curing your rabies. Did you know that there is a National Rabies Day? It is September 28th and it was created in 2007 to raise awareness of this issue. So basically rabies is 100% not curable, but in 2004, a girl in Milwaukee 
was bitten on her finger by a, a bat and actually lived to tell about it. So what they actually did was put her in an induced medical coma to slow down her brain activity and it actually saved her life. The doctors just actually did this as a last ditch effort to try to do something because basically when you're infected with rabies and you've already started showing signs, there is nothing they can do to fix you. And this course of treatment actually went on to be called the Milwaukee Protocol. Another interesting fact is the rabies vaccine was developed by a French chemist named Louis Pasteur. Now the possibility of getting bitten while working on this vaccine was very strong. So what they would do is they actually had a revolver on site and if anyone were bit by one of the dogs they were testing with, they would be shot right there on the spot. There was no cure, there is nothing they can do, and it would just save them from dying a horrible death. We have so many, we should be so appreciative of all of these works that people did throughout our history to make our life the way it is now. And we should definitely take advantage of that by getting our animals taken care of and getting this vaccine to help not spread around rabies everywhere. I also want to mention, be sure while you're at your animal shelter to go check out all of the animals that are in such dire need of homes. There are so many there that could really use us. They're so cute, so lovable. So the next time you want to get a pet, go check out the animal shelters first and see if there's anything there that will make you and your family happy. There's so many that need homes. So I got a little video of a little cute little kitten they had. I know our animal shelter actually had a really nice window that you could look in and watch the little kitties play. It was adorable. I mean, this is there. Look at the little kitty. So I want to thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more great ideas on saving money. So I actually started this channel because I was reviewing things from Amazon. So I'm really looking forward to branching out a little bit and doing a lot more things with this channel. I'm going to start, you know, doing money saving things and basically we're going to be reviewing this big wide world. We're going to review Pinterest ideas. We're going to review places, meals, all kinds of different things. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Everybody have a great day. All these kitties that need little homes. Aww. Look at him, he's like, come pet me. Look at their little cages that are hanging off the wall. Me this was there. Look at the little kitty! Yeah. They have this little window here and you can watch the kitty play. How cute! Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. <laughs> it's like this little window in the wall where you can watch him. How cool is that? He's going so fast. He's a cute cat. That is too freaking cute.